Now I'd like to show you how you can threshold a grayscale image to binary using both low and high thresholds. Here I have my original color image. I'm interested in um, creating a binary image that is solely based on the hue of the image. I'd like to have that green eraser be the only thing remaining in the image. Let's look right here. I've extracted the hue plane and evidently the hue values kind of range in that zone of about 80 to 100 or thereabouts. Let's go to threshold and the default for manual threshold is simply to look for bright objects and this is not so satisfactory because I can choose a threshold where the eraser shows up just fine but I also get a bunch of stray stuff that I do not want in the image either. We really need to engage a second threshold in order to be able to distinguish that range of gray levels. So we say look for gray objects and this brings up two sliders to work with. And I initially might just start looking at that range of about 80 to 100 that we had observed earlier by looking at the, uh, the, the range of hue values for the eraser. So 82 to 114, this seems to be working out pretty well. Now we see that the eraser shows up quite nicely. There's a little bit of leftover showing up from the, the logo in the cup, but we can deal with that using some advanced morphology techniques to do particle filtering later.